Hello, hello. I am Ginkgo, the silver fox, the kitsune with the silver heart and the golden... Oh, I messed that up. The kitsune with the silver fur and the golden heart. <laughs> I don't know my own intro. Okay. Um, you eyes do not deceive you. I am back to being a PNG tuber just for today. Um, I want to day to be more relaxing, so I don't want to worry about tracking and uh, motions and so on and also I wanna give my computer a bit more of a rest this weekend as well not having to run another program in the background is surely being appreciated by all the processing processors and the fans and just the computer in general uh, I know in the schedule I mentioned I want to play Golden Sun, but I thought about it and I would rather keep that game offline, like I associate that with a lot of pleasant memories from my childhood and teenage years, I played that a lot back in the day and uh, I think if I do play it, I want to be able to binge play it uh, in like a couple of sessions and uh, I don't want to stress too much about streaming too in parallel, so uh, rather than it may being a weekly thing, I think I will just, you know, play it offline on my own time for relaxation. Instead, today, as the title suggests, I want to do a variety of things, um, including Duolingo, which is what you see on the screen right now, but also some gaming, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! might also pull up Blue Archive and uh, World of Warcraft. And uh, yes, for those who are not aware, today and I think tomorrow as well is Lunar New Year, also known as Chinese New Year in many places, and uh, to those who celebrate it, uh, Happy Lunar New Year! I wish for everyone a prosperous Year of the Dragon. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Also, by the way, the background music is uh, a Chinese music in honor of uh, this Lunar New Year, so I hope, uh, hope you guys enjoy, and let me know if it's too loud or anything. Let's get started, shall we? So I was looking at the leaderboard because um, I fell back into the Obsidian League, uh, which is the second best uh, league in Duolingo because I didn't uh, practice enough, didn't get enough experience points, so I was demoted. I'm trying to see if I can get promoted, I have to get, I would say, at least 700 experience points, plus some more grinding tomorrow. More importantly, I want to at least remain in the Obsidian League and not, uh, you know, get demoted further. I guess the more important part, rather than this whole competitive nature of it, is, you know, actually practicing your languages, studying, uh, learning new things at your own pace. And, but, uh, yeah, still, I, it would be a shame if I, uh, you know, fell behind all the way to the first league, just because I was lazy, so... And I did realize that on stream I managed to do a lot more uh, than... Uh, just by, um, you know, practicing offline, so hopefully the same can be said about today's session as well. Alright, so let's take a look at the daily quests. Uh, you earn 50 XP. The most important one is the third one with the golden chest, because that contains the double experience boost once you complete it, so that's what I wish to get as quickly as possible. Of course, if you do just these bare minimum, you probably will not fall out of your league because uh, you won't get enough experience points, so you do need to do this um, 
more intensive than that, but it's like a good guideline and motivation to get started, at least. I'd like to start with the story, by the way. The first story you do each day uh, rewards extra experience, the, so it's 20 experience for the first one you do, uh, then it's gonna be 5 experience points. Gonna be starting with German, probably gonna switch to Japanese as well along the way, so let's just jump right into it. Das Kunstwerk. Das Kunstwerk. The work of art. Eddie und sein Freund Oscar besuchen das Kunstmuseum. Eddie zeigt Oscar ein Bild mit einem Hund. Ich liebe dieses Bild. I will lower the background music just a little bit, so the lingo is still audible. There we go, I think that's acceptable. Dieses Bild ist... Langweilig. Boring. Was? Hunde sind super. Eddie, ich bin Kunstlehrer. Ich weiß alles über Kunst. So, he's an art teacher and he is bragging that he knows everything about the work of art and this picture with dogs is boring for him. Dieses Bild ist nicht sehr gut. Dieses Bild ist nicht sehr gut. This picture is not very good. Warum? Why? Gute Kunst ist aufregend. Good art is exciting. Gute Kunst ist überraschend. Good art is surprising. Oscar sieht ein Sandwich auf einem Stuhl. Oscar sees a sandwich on a chair. Das I guess it could be also... Kunst. It is related to the English word stool, so yeah, but that can be misinterpreted. Uh, das hier ist gute Kunst. This here is good ein art. Sandwich auf einem Stuhl? A sandwich on a chair? Ja, dieses Kunstwerk ist aufregend und überraschend. Yes, this work of art is, is exciting and surprising. Der Künstler ist ein Genie. The artist is a genius. Why does Oscar think the artist is a genius? The sandwich on a chair is surprising. Ich verstehe Kunst nicht. I do not understand art. Ein Aufseher kommt und isst das Sandwich. A museum attendant, I think. Yeah, a museum attendant uh, comes and uh, eats the sandwich. Entschuldigung, Sie können nicht das Kunstwerk essen. Excuse me, you cannot eat the work of art. Was? Das ist kein Kunstwerk. Das ist mein Mittagessen. What? That is not a work of art. That's my lunch. Yes, Oscar thought the museum attendant's lunch was art. And now just a word practice. Painting. Uh, build. Exciting. Aufregend. Work of art. Kunstwerk. Museum attendant. Aufseher. I know everything, ich weiß alles. Okay. This is just basically an easy 20 experience points and, you know, I find this more interesting than just, you know, exercises one after another, having like an actual conversation in a real life scenario, play out. I do like it. Of course, it doesn't count again for some missions, such as the lessons, so... Even though it says here in four lessons, lessons, the 8%, I guess, yeah, because you can make mistakes and uh, score less than 100%, but... Uh, yeah, stories don't have anything in a row. Lessons normally have like 10 or more exercises, so yeah. That's why I guess the, the stories don't count towards that. Okay, managed to get the full week of uh, streaks, meaning that I did at least one lesson, earned at least one experience point each day. 237, I don't remember when exactly I started doing Duolingo last year, but yeah, coming on to my 
one year streak. Uh, I did have to use the freeze item because there were days when I didn't manage to practice. But uh, this month, I think I mentioned this before, I do want to make it a perfect month, even though it's like shorter than most. I never managed to get like a... Although sometimes I came close. Perfect month meaning that during each day of the month I practiced, so I didn't have to use any of the freeze items. November I came pretty close. October was pretty good too. September, yeah, quite a few. August, I think that this was the worst month for me. Oh, never mind, July. Yeah, to be fair, I did travel a lot in July and need to remember to use it on my phone more. May... Okay, so this answers my question from earlier. I started on April 21st. And right off the bat, I forgot to practice the next day. But uh, slowly but surely, I built up the habit. And I think December 2 is when I... No, not December, January. Just I missed just two days, so yeah. I made this my goal to not miss a single day in February. And it is the leap year, so it has 29 days instead of 28, so it's just one day shorter than the standard 30-day month. Alright, let's continue. So the practice session contains this... Uh, the daily review it changes every day. Today is about pronunciation, speaking, which is my favorite part anyway. Uh, in the Japanese lesson, I haven't unlocked the pronunciation lessons yet, or I don't know if it's even available for foreign speakers, but um, maybe I'll get to it later. I also don't have stories yet on the Japanese course, but uh, I know those unlock later on. I think it depends on the lesson, like each... Uh, language is structured differently when it comes to the lesson, so no two are the same. Uh, yeah, let's do the pronunciation. My voice is still not 100% recovered, I still have to uh, cough and uh, spit some phlegm or whatever it's called up from time to time. I will try to mute when the time comes, but uh, I think I can do this. All right. Brauchen Sie eine Tüte? Brauchen Sie eine Tüte? Do you need a bag? Die Banane ist leider. Die Banane ist leider braun. Willst du sie essen? Ist eine Pack. Ist eine Packung Tomaten genug? Wir brauchen. Wir brauchen Blumen. Geh in den Blumenladen. Geh in. Sometimes it doesn't speak. Uh, pick up. I mean, I do have an accent. Ich gehe so, in die yeah. Konditorei. Willst du ein Stück Kuchen? Ich gehe in die Konditorei. Willst du ein Stück Kuchen? I'm going to the pastry shop. Do you want a piece of cake? Zehn Packungen sind nicht genug. Zehn Packungen sind nicht genug. Ten packs are Eine not enough. Eine Flasche ist nicht. Eine Flasche ist nicht genug. Du brauchst zwei Flaschen. Mein Hund ist. Mein Hund ist nur Biogurken. Wo sind sie? My dog only eats organic cucumbers. Where are they? Eine Orange ko Eine Orange kostet 10 Cent. An orange costs 10 Cent. Wie viele Gurken? Wie viele Gurken brauchst du für den Salat? How many cucumbers do you need for the salad? Alright, making progress on all quests. That's good. <clears throat> and these next couple of places are tied pretty closely together, although if I want to get to the top 5, and it's pretty strict, only the top 5 get to advance to the Diamond League, so... do have plenty of catching up to do, but I believe I can do it. Ist ein Stück, Ist ein Stück Kuchen genug für die Maus? It's a piece of cake enough for the mouse. Yeah, sometimes there are very, very wacky sentences in Duolingo, but I think that adds to the fun. Ich koche immer für meine Kinder Nudeln. 
Ich koche immer für meine Kinder Nudeln. Willst du deine, Willst du deine Eltern zum Mittagessen einladen? Ja, ich... Ja, ich brauche ihre Hilfe. Geh in den Bi... Geh in den Bioladen. Das Gemüse ist dort besser. In. Das macht... Das macht 20 Euro und 60 Cent. Euro. That comes to 20 Euros and 60 Cent. Brauchen Sie einen... Brauchen Sie einen Kassenzettel? Do you need a receipt? Kannst du zwei Packungen... Kannst du zwei Packungen Kaffee kaufen? Du. Can you buy two packs of coffee? Mögen deine Haustiere Orangen? Mögen deine Haustiere Orangen? Do your pets like oranges? Bitte, kauf eine Packung Kekse. Bitte, kauf eine Packung Kekse. Okay, first quest is done. Next two are not far behind. I wanna jump over to Japanese real quick. I would like to do a lot more of these uh, pronunciation uh, reviews once I have the double experience because the double experience lasts 15 minutes and the most efficient I found were the pronunciation lessons or the rewinds and uh, I don't want to get burned out doing just pronunciation lessons for a long time so until I complete the double experience let's jump over to Japanese and do some other practices I did finish up the first two sections, although the second section I haven't done all the legendary quests yet. Might do some of these as well, because each of them will be worth instead of 40-80 experience points. I also wish they would introduce the... Uh, so, Dowling is a bit strange, it's more advanced on the mobile app. It has more features at least than on the desktop. So, uh, there are certain things like some mini games. Uh, limited time mini games on the ladder and some other quests that I w haven't seen on the desktop version yet. So yeah. Uh, right, I wanted to go to the practice listening. Okay. Sure, I'll do a listening exercise. I need to improve that anyway. You bet. You bet. Last night. Konban this evening. Kaze wa yowai des. The wind is weak. Ame ga furimas. Ame ga furimas. It rains. It is raining. Tsuyoi kaze ga fui teimas. Tsuyoi kaze ga fui teimas. A strong wind is blowing. Actually, the continuous present, the blowing rather than just blow, is marked by the te imas. Kyo mo hare te imas. Kyo mo hare te imas. Today is sunny too. Mo, this is the two. Kono heya wa akaruku nai desu. Kono heya wa. Akaruku nai des. This room is not bright. Akarui is bright, and this is like the negative form, Kun ending with kunai. Mata kyo wa hare des. Mata kyo wa hare des. Today is sunny again. Mata again. Yugata wa kuraku nai desu ka? Yugata. Isn't it dark in the evening? You got a evening. Could I dark? Kyowa tenki ga warui desu. Kyowa tenki ga warui desu. Today's weather is bad. 
The weather is bad today. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. Konban. Konban. You may have heard the greeting Konban wa, which is good evening, and the evening part is this. Mada ame ga futte imasu. Mada ame ga futte imasu. It is still raining. Mada still. Kyou mo harete imasu. Kyou mo harete imasu.夕方は暗くないですか夕方は暗くないですか風は弱いですか今朝雨が降りました今朝雨が降りました雪は降っていません Yuki wa wa futte i masen. Strange that it's broken up like this. Imasen. That should be one word. Yuki wa futte i masen. It is snowing. It is not snowing. It's the negative form. Hiruma wa akarui desu. Hiruma wa it is bright in the daytime, that's like a Captain Obvious sentence, but yeah, it's grammatically correct. Yowai is weak and this is the negative form Yowakunai desu. It is not weak. Oh. Yowaku. I forgot to add the wa in there, in that case it changes to not necessarily weak. Ah, okay. Uh, ashita no tenki wa waruku nai. Oh, not tensha, this. Ashita no tenki wa waruku nai this. Tomorrow's weather is not bad. Very well. And this, yep, it indeed unlocked the double XP. So let's take advantage of that as much as we can. Switching back to German for a bit. All right, I can do one of these per minute, so 15 speaking exercises. It's gonna be tough on my voice, but I'll do my best. Haben Sie hier, bi Haben Sie hier Biogurken? Dein Hund, Dein Hund trinkt, meinen Ap trinkt meinen Apfelsaft. Wie viel, ko Wie viel kosten vier Tüten? Ich gehe, in ich gehe in die Konditorei. Willst du ein Stück Kuchen? Willst du? Meine Gro Eine Großeltern mögen keine Orangen. Großeltern. Das macht. Das macht 12 Euro und 25 Cent. Macht Euro. Bitte. Bitte geh in den Bioladen und kauf Milch und Brot. Ich habe. Ich habe fünf Flaschen Weißwein. Möchtet ihr ein Glas? Willst du deine Eltern zum Mittagessen? Willst du deine Eltern zum Mittagessen einladen? Wie viele, Wie viele Gurken brauchst du für den Salat? Alright, that's not too bad. And we actually managed to go up a few places on the ladder. But Right now we just want to concentrate. Frau eine Gurke für den Salat. Meine Frau braucht eine Gurke für den Salat. Wir brauchen. 
Wir brauchen Biogurken. Geh in den Bioladen. Geh in. Wie viel? Wie viel kosten vier Tüten? Kostet, kostet eine Packung Tomaten nur 60 Cent? Mögen? Mögen deine Haustiere Orangen? Einen, schö einen schönen Tag noch. Have a nice day. Deine Mutter. Deine Mutter kommt gleich. Wo sind die Blumen? Your mother is coming short, you are the followers. Ich will Kekse. Geh in den Konditorei, bitte. Konditorei, Pastry Geh in die Metzgerei. Geh in die Metzgerei und kauf Schnitzel, bitte. Geh in. Geh. Geh. It's kind of hard to... Geh. Geh. Vielen Dank. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Okay, moving up, but I wanna just focus on using up the 15 bonus Zwei experience sind minutes. Nicht genug. Wir brauchen Zwei Gurken sind nicht genug, wir brauchen fünf. Brauchen wir, brauchen wir nur eine Packung Eis? Ich kann, die ich kann die Kasse nicht finden. Das ist, kei das ist keine Gurke, das ist eine Banane. <lacht> Confusing bananas for cucumbers a bit. Uh, Embarrassing. Ja. ja, ich brauche Ihre Hilfe. Die Blumen. Die Blumen sind braun. Geh in den Blumenladen. Wir brauchen. Wir brauchen zehn Stück Kuchen für die Party. Eine, Fl Eine Flasche ist nicht genug. Du brauchst zwei Flaschen. Deine, Mu Deine Mutter kommt gleich. Wo sind die Blumen? Kannst du. Kannst du zwei Packungen Kaffee kaufen? It's gonna keep going until I see that uh, it's still 40 in the uh, start button. Einen schönen, Einen schönen Tag noch. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. May I for that. The goodbye. Geh in die, Metz Geh in die Metzgerei und kauf Schnitzel, bitte. Geh in. Geh. Geh. I don't like my Geh. Brauchen Sie... Brauchen Sie eine Tüte? Oh nein. Oh nein, ich kann keinen Kassenzettel nicht finden. Kostet, ein Kostet eine Packung Tomaten nur 60 Cent? Die Kasse, Die Kasse ist nicht hinten. Sind, Sie Sind 10 Packungen Nudeln genug? Meine Oma. Meine Oma geht nie in die Konditorei. Sie backt gern. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Brauchen Sie meine Hilfe? Good, good day, oh, good afternoon. Kostet eine, kostet eine Gurke 60 Cent? It's gonna hydrate after each one. Wir haben, Wir haben nur eine Gurke im Kühlschrank. Die Banane. Die Banane ist jetzt braun, aber ich habe Hunger. Eine Banane. Eine Banane kostet 60 Cent. Ich mag, Bl ich mag Blumen, aber ich gehe nie in den Blumenladen. Ich möchte, ich möchte jetzt zahlen. Wo ist die Kasse? Geh in die Konditorei und kauf. Geh in die Konditorei und kauf einen Kuchen. Geh in. Okay, if I say slow, ja, it's Sie können hier ein ja, Sie können hier eine Tüte kaufen. Meine Eltern mögen Meine Eltern mögen Orangen nicht. Sie lieben sie. Warum brauchst Warum brauchst du für die Pizza Bananen? Geh in die Metz Geh in die Metzgerei und kauf Schnitzel bitte. Geh in. There we go. It's gonna position my mouse as well in the right spot so ja, ich brauche fünf I Tüten. save time ja ich brauche fünf Tüten ist ein, Stü ist ein Stück Kuchen genug für die Maus kannst du Bl kannst du Blumen, Blumen für meine Großeltern kaufen wir grillen wir grillen und brauchen Gemüse geh in den Bioladen wir brauchen wir brauchen ein Geschenk geh in den Blumenladen meine Kinder 
Meine Kinder mögen Orangen. Dein Vater, Dein Vater liebt Weißwein. Wir brauchen drei Flaschen. Wow. Kostet, eine Kostet eine Packung Tomaten nur 60 Cent? Opa, Opa isst gern Apfelkuchen. Geh in die Konditorei. Geh in die, Met Geh in die Metzgerei und kauf Schnitzel, bitte. Geh in. This is the bane of my existence. Geh in. Geh in. Okay, das Venture accepted. Alright, and slowly but surely we are also climbing the ladder. Let's keep going. Ja, ich... Ja, ich brauche Ihre Hilfe. Ich will Blumen. Ich will Blumen. Ich muss in den Blumenladen gehen. Wie viel kostet... Wie viel kosten vier Tüten? Gibt es einen... Gibt es einen Kuchen oder Zucker? Ist eine... Pa Ist eine Packung Tomaten genug? Deine Mutter... Deine Mutter kommt gleich. Wo sind die Blumen? Ich möchte zwei... Ich möchte zwei Flaschen Weißwein zum Abendessen. Ich koche immer... Ich koche immer für meine Kinder Nudeln. Kostet eine... Kostet eine Packung Tomaten nur 60 Cent? Ja. Ja, die Kasse ist rechts. Geh in die, Metz Geh in die Metzgerei und kauf Schnitzel, bitte. Warum, bra Warum brauchst du für die Pizza Bananen? Einen schönen, Ta Einen schönen Tag noch. Kannst du... Kannst du auch zwei Flaschen Apfelsaft kaufen? Wir, wir können eine Pizza für die Kinder backen. Meine Oma, meine Oma geht nie in die Konditorei. Sie backt gern. Wir, brauch, wir brauchen Blumen. Geh in den Blumenladen. Geh in. Geh in. Ich gehe gleich, ich gehe gleich in den Supermarkt. So it's with the geh. gear, like the... First person conjugation, it's easier to pronounce for me, I guess, but with the second person, or it's kind Meine of difficult. Eltern mögen Meine Eltern mögen Wein, aber kein Bier. Wir haben, Wir haben keine Gurken. Geh in den Bioladen. Okay, if I say it more loudly, it's recognized. Very well. Ja, einen schönen Tag noch. Ja, einen schönen Tag noch. Ich will nur... Ich will nur eine Packung Erdbeeren, danke. Kauf, Ka Kauf Kartoffeln und Eis, bitte. Dein Hund... Dein Hund trinkt meinen Apfelsaft. Hast du... Ein Hast du eine Flasche Mineralwasser im Kühlschrank? Wir, Wir brauchen weniger als 10 Flaschen Weißwein. Ich habe... Ich habe schon eine Tüte, danke. Eine, Or eine Orange kostet 10 Cent. Oh nein. Oh nein, die Banane ist schon braun. Oh nein, die Banane ist schon braun. Am I lagging? It's not recognizing anything. Oh nein, die Banane ist schon braun. Okay, that was a glitch. Ich will Blumen, ich muss... Ich will Blumen, ich muss in den Bio Blumenladen gehen. Er muss halt Bioladen, which is the organic shop, vegetable shop. There we go. Drei Tüten. Drei Tüten kosten 60 Cent. Danke. Danke, einen schönen Tag noch. Ja. Ja, die Kasse ist rechts. Brauchen. Brauchen Sie Hilfe? Isst du gern? Isst du gern Gurken? Das ist kein. Das ist keine Gurke. Das ist eine Banane. Opa ist. Opa isst gern Apfelkuchen. Geh in den Kon in die Konditorei. Die Blumen. Die Blumen sind braun. Geh in den Blumenladen. Ich will Schinken essen. Ich will Schinken essen. Geh in die Metzgerei. Geh in. Ich möchte. 
Ich möchte für meine Freunde einen Apfelkuchen backen. Okay. Getting pretty close, actually. To the top 5. Oh nein. Oh nein, wir essen gleich, aber wir haben kein Brot. Ich habe, ich habe schon eine Tüte, danke. Eine Banane. Eine Banane kostet 60 Cent. Dein Hund. Dein Hund trinkt meinen Apfelsaft. Die, Bana die Banane ist jetzt braun, aber ich habe Hunger. Geh in die Konditorei. Geh in die Konditorei und kauf einen Kuchen. Geh in. Ich will. Ich will Blumen. Ich muss in den Blumenladen gehen. Entschuld. Entschuldigung, wo ist die Kasse? Kauf. Kauf nur Gurken und Reis, bitte. Dein Vater. Dein Vater liebt Weißwein. Wir brauchen drei Flaschen. I'm gonna switch to Japanese at some point, especially since I want to take a Japanese proficiency exam later this year, in July, hopefully. Ich will meine Gro Ich will meine Großeltern zum Mittagessen einladen. Großeltern. Hast du eine, Hast du eine Flasche Mineralwasser im Kühlschrank? Ich will, Blu ich will Blumen. Ich muss in den Blumenladen gehen. Wir brauchen Bio- wir brauchen Biogurken. Geh in die Bio, den Bioladen. Geh in. Geh in. Wir brauchen, we Wir brauchen weniger als 10 Flaschen Weißwein. Oh nein. Oh nein, ich kann meinen Kassenzettel nicht finden. Wir, Wir können eine Pizza für die Kinder backen. Ist ein, St Ist ein Stück Kuchen genug für die Maus? Danke für Ihr. Danke für Ihre Hilfe. Brauchen wir, Brauchen wir eine Packung oder zwei Packungen Eier? Excellent. Geh in die Konditor. Geh in die Konditorei und kauf einen Kuchen. Geh in. Wir haben keine Gurken. Geh in die wir haben keine Gurken. Geh in den Bioladen. Eine Tüte. Eine Tüte kostet 10 Cent. Brauchen wir eine. Brauchen wir eine Packung oder zwei Packungen Eier? Das ist keine. Das ist keine Gurke. Das ist eine Banane. Eine Flasche. Eine Flasche ist nicht genug. Du brauchst zwei Flaschen. Ich gehe. Ich gehe gleich in den Supermarkt. Kannst du, vier Flaschen Wein Kannst du vier Flaschen Weißwein für die Party kaufen? Danke. Danke, und hier ist ihr Kassenzettel. Ich koche. Ich koche immer für meine Kinder Nudeln. Oh, so, with one more 40 experience point, I actually can make it to the top 5. But I want to, I think if I want to be sure of my advance, well, I will practice tomorrow as well, of course, but I um, don't want to be the fifth, fourth, maybe third, if possible. We'll see. Oh, and uh, during that time, the double experience actually expired. So let's switch to Japanese and do some less voice intensive exercises so when it comes to like the legendary like the double experience uh, reviews i am currently here you need 13 talk about your day describe your home let's do that <laughs> excuse me complete this extra hard challenge and level up to legendary Nana wa. Tsukue, that's this. Desk, it means the desk. Heya. Heya, um, that's the room. Ie, that's this. House, home. 
Where is the window? Um, Mado wa doko desuka? Ie wa doko desuka? Ie wa doko desuka? Sofa wa doko desuka? Um, excuse me, it's where is the sofa? Dai dokoro desu. Dai dokoro desu. Dai dokoro is kitchen. It is a kitchen. Okasan, that's when you're talking about someone's mother. Okasan. If you're talking about your mother, it's haha. Furo. Um, or I guess Ofuro. That would be this. The bathroom. The bath. Ie. Heya. Heya. Dai dokoro. Niwa wa doko desu ka? Niwa wa doko desu ka? Where is the garden? Okay, um. Petto wa. Imasuka. Do you have a pet? So, Ari, this is a bit of a trap. Arimas to exist, like to be, but uh, for living beings, humans, and animals in particular, it's Imas. Is this a toilet? Um, kore wa toire desu ka? Neko ga imasu. There is a cat, Neko. Nana wa... Um, not sure what the wa is here. I need to look this up. But this is the number seven, Nana wa. Nana wa. In these cases I open up jisho.org and... Um, Look it up. Okay. Need to enter the symbol. Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure Y is something of a counter, which they have a lot. Japanese Wa counter. For birds, for bats, and for bunnies. Okay, there we go. So, Nana Wa, it means seven of. Bunnies, uh, birds, or bats. There we go. Learned something new myself today. Furo, Furo. Inu. Inu, dog, Tori, Tori. bird, Neko, cat. There are four chairs. Isu, ga. Yotsu arimas. The order in Japanese grammar is a bit unusual. If you are an English speaker, it starts with chair, for, and then is, are. Chair, for, are, basically. Koinu to koneko ga imasu. Koinu to koneko ga imasu. There are puppies. And kittens. Ko means child. This is the symbol for child. So if you put it in front of an animal, then it's like the baby animal. Ko inu ko neko. It is here. Um, here is Koko. It is there, sorry. Soko ni. Arimas. There we go. Actually, oh, it didn't give me a notification, but yeah, I did move up to fifth place, but the person that I just passed is still close behind me and if they are like me they probably get a phone notification that I knocked them out of the fifth place and they are in danger of no longer getting promoted so 
I'm pretty sure Monica will come back and do more lessons. So I think... <coughs> I think uh, it would be a good idea just for the sake of, you know, also completion and also to get more experience points to just complete uh, Unit 13. Like make it golden all out. Which is like four more exercises. Go, go. Go, go, afternoon. Reiji, that's midnight. Ikimasu, to go. Kaisha, the company. Reiji, midnight. Okimasen, not getting up in the morning, for example. Ikimasu, to go. Gakko, school. Kaisha company. I eat rice every day. Mainichi. Uh, gohan o Tabemas. Gakko again, school. Mai Asa. Um, every morning. Gozen before noon. Reiji midnight. Mainichi every day. 12 a.m. So midnight, that's Reiji. Ah, uh, you need to specify. Oh, come on, you could have accepted that. I mean, I guess the a.m. kind of requires the gozen. Okay, go go, that's. Um... I believe this one. No. Gozen is the Mae and Ato symbol. Yeah, go -go. yeah this is Gogo. Select the correct characters for Mai Asa. Mai Asa. Mai Asa. Mai is like every, the symbol for every, and this is for morning. I will not go to the office. Okay. Uh, Kaisha ni ikimasen. Gozen, uh, that's Gozen. this. I drink water more every morning. That's a good idea. My asa mizu o nomimas. Okimas. Okimas to get up. Okimas. I go to sleep at 11 p.m. Okay, you start. You can start with the time. And specify the PM, which is Gogo Ichi G. Oh, sorry, Ju Ichi. If it's 11, Ju Ichi Ni. Ni Nemas. I get up at 7 a.m. Okay, uh, Gozen Shichi G. Ni Oki Mas. Welcome to Japan. Mm, do I start with Yokoso or Nihon? I wonder. Nihon. Nihon. Eh? Yokoso. Yeah, you start with Nihon. I go to school at 8 o'clock. Okay. Um, it doesn't say AM, so you don't need to add the Gozen in this case. But it's kind of implied that if you go to the school, it's probably in the morning and not at 8 o'clock in the evening. Okay, um, so where is Hachi? Hachi, Chi, Ni, Gakko, E, Ikimas. Alright, just three more, and then I'll take a break probably and switch to gaming. It is a kitten. Koneko, this. Daidokoro. Daidokoro kitchen. Uh, Wachiwa? Oh, yeah, it's kind of a mistake. Like, this is the symbol, the, let the syllable, the letter, whatever you want to call it, for ha. But if it's the particle in the middle, then it's uh, pronounced as wa, but it's uh, it's hachi wa, meaning eight number of 
bird, kitten, uh, no, bird, bats, or bunnies. Furo. 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 Didn't know you can also say furo. Most of the time I heard ofuro, but then again, o is like something that makes uh, a word more formal. It is a bathtub. Okay. Um, ofuro. This. I guess furo is the bath, and bathtub specifically is ofuro, maybe? Inu. That's dog, and this is futoi, actually. The. Which means uh, tick or fat. Inu. Ki. Ki, this is uh, three. Dai. Dai or oki, this is big. Inu. Inu, this is the one. Where is the sofa? Sofa. Sofa wa doko desu ka? Inu, dog. Isu, chair. That's. Um, I need to get back to it. I think it's this, though. This one I know for sure. Tsukue. Tsukue. Dai dokoro. It's Dai this. Dokoro. Furo is Furo. this. Fun fact, the first symbol is actually kaze, or wind. And yeah, this is isu. Okay. Through elimination, I deduced the correct answer. <laughs> Where is the house? Uh, yeah, yeah. wa doko deska heya. Uh, that's this. Heya. Uro. Yeah, yeah means room. By the way, yeah house. Yeah. Niwa garden. Uh, that's this. And window mado is this. The kitchen. Dai dokoro. Although some Japanese also say kitchen, so like borrowed word from uh, English. It is a dog. Inu des. There are two chairs. Isu ga futatsu arimasu. There is a cat. Neko ga imas. The bedroom is over there. Um, over here. So it's koko wa. Um, bedroom. Interesting. I haven't heard this word, but uh, based on the symbols and. Elimination Dozo Yoroshiku, that's not Konnichiwa, Mata Ashita Shinshitsu. Shinshitsu. So shin, Shinshitsu is the bedroom. Okay. Death. Ah, okay. The order matters in this case. You should, uh, should have started with Shinshitsu wa Koko des because you wanna. The topic is the bedroom and you wanna accentuate that it is here so you don't start with Koko. Okay, that's my mistake. How much is that desk? Um, sono. Sono. Tsukue wa ikura desu ka? There is a restroom. Toire ga arimasu. Nana wa. Nana wa. Perfect. Okay, I'm also gonna review, under the practice session you can also review the mistakes and uh, correct them, which also grants you a little bit of extra experience. But before that, let's finish with this unit. Oh, that's a big sentence. Performance wa nanji goro hajimarimasu ka? Uh, goro around. What time does the performance start? Hajimari must start. I have practice at 8 a.m. today. 
Kyo. Kyo wa. No, you can just say Kyo, you don't need to add the wa in this case. Okay. Kyo gozen hachi ji ni renshu ga arimas. Okay, I... Or should I start with on weekends? On... On weekends I speak Chinese with friends. How appropriate, it's Chinese music playing right now and it's Chinese New Year. On weekends I speak Chinese with friends. Do you have a ballet ballet lesson? Ballet? I'm not sure how to pronounce it in English. Ballet? Ballet? Ballet lesson on Thursday? Uh, okay. Mokuyobi. Uh, wa. Um, bare no lesson. Okay, maybe I put wa arimasu ka? Mokyobi ni bare no lesson wa arimasu ka? There you go. Oh, it seems like a big jump in difficulty compared to the previous ones. Okay, should we study kanji together today? Um, okay, um, I guess we have to start with how. Yeah, how long? Nanjikan, how long? Or how many hours? I guess, uh, how many hours are you play going to play tennis on the weekend? Ashita Sanji ni badominto no renshu ga arimasu. Okay. I have badminton practice at three o'clock tomorrow. Dono bani ikimashoka. Dono bani ikimashoka. Which bar? Should we go to Tanaka Ken des Yoroshiku Onegaishimas? Okay, this is very simple, like basic level Japanese that you learn. I'm Ken Tanaka. It's reverse actually, based uh, compared to the Japanese order of surnames, first name, and last name. I'm Ken Tanaka. I'm looking forward to working with you. Yoroshiku Negashimas is technically uh, like if you want literal translation, it means please be kind to me, but uh, it's translated most often the, as nice to meet you, or if you are meeting like a co-worker or business partner, you will say it can be translated as I'm looking forward to working with you. Client to meeting ga arimasu. Client no... Client to... Client. Client to meeting ga arimasu. We have a meeting with a client. Konya wa tsugi no kiji o kakimasu. Tonight I'm going to write the next Tsugi. 
should really put my phone away so you don't hear the notifications. Distracted by my phone and forgot. Okay, actually, I need to go to the bathroom real quick so I can focus. Uh, be right back. Okay, I am back. So, my niche atarashi brogun no kiji o kagimaska. Do you do you post a new blog? No, do you write a new blog post? Every day. Ashtamo kujikan piano hikimasu ka? Ashtamo kujikan piano o kimasu ka? Ashtamo kujikan. Are you going to practice? Um, no, Hiki must play. Play piano tomorrow. For nine hours tomorrow, too. I, I'm unsure about the order. Okay, it was okay. Oterai, oterai mo nikai desu ka? Um, is... Is the restroom also on the second floor? Kai is the floor, ni second floor. Ni means two. Yojikan han eigo o benkyo shimasu. Ujikahan eigo o benkyo shimasu. Okay. I'm 
going to study uh, English for four and a half hours. Uh, today I'm Odorimas is dance. I'm going to dance for Ichichi Kanhan one and a half for one Gurai about for about oh it's uh, Ichi yeah for about an hour and a half. My Nichi Gojikan Han Kankoko Benkyo Shimas. Okay. Are you? Oh. Thank you for the follow. Um, not sure how to pronounce it. Um, Nana Ju Yon. I mean, the symbols kind of read those out loud. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> okay. Uh, mainichi gojikan han kankoku o benkyoshimas. I study Korean uh, jikan. There's no about. Okay. I study Korean for um, five, where's five, five and a half hours every day. We should speak Japanese for uh, an hour and a half. Okay. And just one more and I'll be done with this unit and for the practice today. Actually moved up to the fourth place, which is pretty good. Oh, someone else was practicing and... If they don't have the green dot around their character portrait, it means they're not online, so they may not be doing more practices today, but yeah. Promote, getting promoted to the Diamond League uh, at the end of the week is within the realm of possibility for sure now. And I'm glad. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go back to this and one more. This will probably be the most difficult. Okay. Koneko. Koneko. Yes. yes. Suddenly there are shorter sentences and exercises again. Tsukue. Tsukue. The desk. This is Tori, Tori, the bird. I. I? Is this the stomach? Neko. Neko cat. I. No. U, U is the U is the stomach. Um. Hmm. I. Let me see if I can find this on jitshow.org with um the drawing, although I will probably butcher it. So the first part is like this three. Then I have the three again, if I'm not mistaken. Ok, 
Okay, then it's... I guess this is actually two moves. Looks like I have to do like... Okay, let me try again. I'm afraid if I just search after E, it will have too many possible results. Although I will do that if it turns out to be too difficult. And now let's make the box. Okay, does this result in any that are over here? Let's see, is it being recognized? No. Ah, oh, Shinra, thank you. <laughs> you copied that for me. That makes things easier. How are you doing, by the way? Nice to see you again. Okay, so it's the E from Isu chair stool. Got it. Oh, and in my haste, I forgot to switch back to chair. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I think you were in the, um, where was it? I think it was on a Saturday, for sure, uh, on one of those, um, um, the rhythm game, maybe, the YY party. Uh, I'm doing alright too, uh, I'm getting over a bit of a cold, but uh, yeah, I... Or it was in the GeoGuessr, okay, that may, may have been it, yeah. Sorry, I don't remember all the people, but yeah, the name Shinra certainly looked familiar. Okay, uh... Huro. Huro. This is something I was um, curious about, like, do you say, uh, mostly I heard Ofuro, which I'm pretty sure they mean the bat here, but here they say Furo more often. Yeah, fair enough. I don't think I will be doing GeoGuessr today, but um, I wanted to just get some language practice in and later on I will... Um, switch to some gaming maybe but you're welcome to stay for as long as you like inu inu okay the garden is over there niwa wa asoko this right so it makes no difference thank you for explaining Tori. Tori. This is Niku, Niku. meat. Neko. Uh, Neko, cat. Sakana, Sakana fish. Tori. Is this a toilet? Um, kore Tori. wa toire desu ka? Isu? Isu. Isu, okay, so this is the E. Kodomo. Kodomo. Kodomo, that's... Um, Kid, your kid. Koinu, uh, koinu that's um, puppy Koneko. and kitten. <laughs> it's a puppy. Um, koinu, koinu this. There are two chairs. Um, Isu. Ga futatsu arimas. Daidokoro kitchen. That's um, this. Kyoto. Kyoto. Kyoto the city. Uro. Ie house. Heya room. The house is over here. Sentences and stuff, but it has its flaws. Yeah, I... Uh, yes, so I am actually also studying Japanese on my own uh, with the help of a tutor. I have my own sensei. 
she she actually she's Romanian like myself but uh, she uh, studied Japanese for many years and actually finished the university in Japan and uh, she does give me private lessons and also she worked at, at the Japanese Kaisha uh, company for a while. I find uh, Duolingo okay for like practices, like if you can't practice with anyone or you know just to review stuff but i would i said this before on stream i would not recommend it as a as an only source for learning a new language but it's all right i wouldn't put it in the garbage uh, and i'm not familiar with anki i'm afraid the jisho.org site that you saw me pull up was actually recommended by my sensei the house is over here. Um, okay. Ie wa koko. This. Neko, cat, tori, bird, heya. Room, nanawa. I, I didn't understand what this wa was, but I looked it up earlier. I know it's the counter for. Um, Birds, uh, bats, and bunnies. Anki is a flash quartet mainly used by language learners to memorize kanji through repetition. Oh, okay. I might look into that. I am struggling a bit with uh, kanji, and I am only at the beginner level. I am hoping to um, pass the... Uh, for of the Nihongo Nori Okushiken, uh, the JLPT N4 level. Uh, probably will be doing it in July later this year. It's always either in the first Sunday of July or first uh, um, Sunday of December. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Gambarimas, I'll do my best. There are dogs and cats. Um, inu, to, neko, ga, inas. Dananawa uh, was actually um, the Japanese na counter. Uh, it was this symbol, and uh, I found that it's the counter for birds, bats, and bunnies. So Nanawa means seven bunny, bat, or bird. I, th I think that's what they wanted to show. This one. Um, yes, you have way too many counters in Japanese. Uh, just a comment, but yeah. Also, um, I remember when I studied Japanese with my sensei, I learned that, you know, to exist, to be, uh, is normally arimas, but for living beings, it's imas. But uh, I also learned that it's only used for uh, humans, people, and uh, animals. Plants do, do fall under the arimas, and I was like, plants are living beings too, so... It's kind of strange that you have to use arimas for it, but, you know, that's just how it is. It, there was no, like, good reason for it. This is my sofa. Um, Kore wa watashi no sofa. Yes. How much is that desk? Yeah, I guess more sentient. You, you, I would agree that humans and animals uh, express more sentience than plants. How much is that desk? Um, sono tsuke wa ikura desu ka? There are seven birds. Um, okay, this is where the wa will come in. Uh, tori... Ga nanawa imas. The apartment has an air conditioner. 
So, um, I guess you will have to kind of translate it in the apartment. Let's see. Apatani. Um, Eakon. Ga. Arimas. Although I'm not sure if I should say apato wa eakon garimas. I feel like because you're specifying location, I the knee is more appropriate, but we'll see. Okay. I have a uh... Right. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, signage immersion. So, I have uh, been to Japan before on GeoGuessr and also Geotest Stick. I actually switched to Geotest Stick in one of uh, my streams where I, because uh, it seemed like a better version. At least it was free. Um, but. Um, but the thing is, I didn't. Uh, it's kind of. I guess for what you mentioned, to try and uh, recognize the symbols easier, uh, like practice recognizing the symbols does sound interesting, but I felt bad because I couldn't, you know, I've been to Japan once, but I couldn't recognize any of the locations other than maybe the really big cities, but yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, done with unit 13, and that is, yeah, this is the trophy, and I'm currently, oh, what happened? Let me refresh, I'm sure it was, okay, it could have sworn I saw my score go down for a bit. Yeah, I suppose you're right, even... From, you can learn even from mistakes. Yeah. I, uh, I do plan on doing that, but for now I am going on a little break. Um, so I can rest a bit and, you know, after... Um, as we used to do during school, after you finished your homework, you can relax a bit. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, but first I'm gonna take a little break, also take care of my laundry and uh, i'll be back in a couple of minutes so thank you for tuning in if you want to stick around if not uh, i'll see you some other time
Very well, I am back, and I think I'm gonna be actually doing a bit of um, geography uh, through geotastic. Hang on a sec, let me double check. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so someone recommended me as an alternative to GeoGuessr because it seemed better in some ways. Uh, it is free, but it does require donations to maintain, and uh, I've seen that it did require ads at some point, but uh, it at least it doesn't have like the time limit thing uh, for the free version. So let's see. I'm gonna do what Shinra suggested earlier uh, and go to Japan. Don't know where to. Maybe a local game? Um, I wanna go specifically... Okay, this is a local game, no. Um, maybe on the challenges? Okay, let's see. Um, is Japan under? Nippon Satellite. Five minutes per round, Tanoshinde. Okay. Five rounds, pinpointing. Full score distance, by distance, satellite map. Okay, let's try it out. Hmm. I mean, clearly it is supposed to be Japan. Um, interesting. How far can I zoom in? So, I, it's, it's not a street view like GeoGuessr or others. So there are mountains, it seems to be near a lake at least, if not the whole city side. I don't think it's... I don't think it's Tokyo, it seems like it's... Let me look a bit closer though. Is this the bridge that connects? Is this the bridge from here? Doesn't look like it. Interesting. Just I have five minutes for this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do this and then I'm, I'll try to look for a standard um, Google Street View so that I can actually see signs and such. This is certainly different from the previous games, so I like the variety. I really don't know where this would be, I'm just gonna guess. So is this supposed to be land or is it still water? I can't tell from this satellite view. Okay. Oh, wasn't too far off. Seems like it was near... was in... Oh, I guess the view was flipped in some way. 
Hmm. Okay, so it should have been in what's the city called? Malkaya. Kayawa. Okay. Let's continue. Oh, very densely populated area. This is certainly some kind of metropolis. I am almost 100% certain this is Tokyo, but then again, I don't know all the big cities. Could also be. Hmm. Could it be Kyoto? I don't know. Stadium could be pretty telling. Fortunately, I don't know what that is. What is this big zero? Oh no, it's another. It's a football stadium. Interesting. I'm still gonna guess Tokyo. Oh, it was Sendai, okay. Actually, watch a YouTuber who's from Sendai. Guess I need to learn more about it, but yeah, even mistakes can be useful. Okay, um, this is certainly more of a rural area. Problem is that if I don't know any of the big landmarks, yeah, and don't see any signs, it's not gonna be helpful. Let's just guess somewhere near Yamanishi. Oh, I was way off. Okay, I was actually in Nashi. Nakashibetsu. Okay, what else? Okay, we are now in the big fo <laughs> forest and we are going through a river. <coughs> I don't know other than the Kamigawa or what what's that river called in Kyoto, I forgot. I'm sure there are many other Famous rivers. It doesn't. I don't think it's the river from Osaka. Oh, I was actually here at Oit in Oita Prefecture. Okay, and where does it say the name of the river? Because I'm curious about the name. Oh no, river. Okay, there we go. Okay, this could be a trick, like it's trying to trick me that it's the northwestern edge. But could very well be flipped. And it is certainly not a big city. Okay, come on, where are you, Japan? There you are. Could this be in Wakanai? Ah, no, this was Oshima Island. Okay, <laughs> I certainly don't know the small islands. 
Okay. Well, third place is not the worst. Could have been better, of course. Seems like round 4 and 5 was difficult even for the person in the first place. But I did enjoy this challenge. Not giving it 5 stars, just because I don't like the satellite type, but um, yeah. Uh, challenge overhaul, okay. Maybe here. Now oh, these are scenarios. How do I... Can I just search? Oh, I can search for user, but... Let's see... Um... Community map... This used to be much easier to understand. I don't know how I can... Search for... Like, Geotastic on stream, this is guessing the country, and chat contributes to it, and... There is a streak system for it. But again, this is different countries. I want to focus on Japan, but I don't know how to do it. Maybe I can still find some here. Okay, map modes. I want street view. Um... Japan. Across Japan number one. Created two years ago. Created by Tetsuya. Oh, train station challenge. That's also interesting, but I think I... Oh, obscure places. You know what? I do like the idea of looking up obscure places rather than just uh, the well-known touristy ones, so... Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, one shot at this challenge. Give it your best. Eight rounds, okay. Okay. Otearai, I think that's... Yeah, Otearai. Um, how much can I move, though? Very traditional style. Okay, let's try and look at the sign. The fact that uh, it has... English translation means that it is still a more well-known place. Enkoji, Furukawa Station, Cultural Communication, Koma Glass, Shin Shuji, Ichinomachi, Koma Glass Museum of Art, Sakura, or Sara Gift Shop. The coma makes me think that it might... The coma, the fact that it has coma in the name of the glass museum makes me think it might be actually in coma. But I don't know where coma is, so let me see if I can find it. Don't have a lot of time, but I will try my best. Kumamoto... Hiroshima, I was there. 2019 Fukuyama, Oda, Matsue, Totori, Chizu, Tamba, Kyoto The comma may not even be a true indication of the location Komatsu, <laughs> close, but not quite there yet Uh, running out of time. Um, if I knew where Enkoji Temple was, that would, of uh, course, uh, or the Shinshuji Temple. Terra, this I know, this is the symbol for Terra. 
This would be much easier, but I do not. It's still gonna take a wild guess because I'm running out of time. Apologies. Okay. Not too bad. Still 177 kilometers away. So this was actually in Hida. Hida Furukawa. Interesting. Okay. Beautiful little river with the willow trees. It reminds me of a walk I had in Kyoto, but uh, don't want to just say it's Kyoto based on. Okay, two rabbits brewing company. Anything about the location here? Ni. Usagi, I guess. Um, it's kind of censored. I could see the ko from Iku in the sign there for a sec. Okay, wonder if this Uoya means anything. I think these are just generic signs. Okay. This is like the entrance to something. I can't I know some parts some of those kanji but not all unfortunately. Kunaga, I guess this is a politician. Advertise myself. Iki Iki. I guess this is a store. Takaki Bokujo. Okay, just gonna guess. They're clearly near mountains. Okay, let's see if it's near Okayama. No. We were actually in Shiga, near Shiga. Okay, north of Kyoto. So I wasn't very far off when I mentioned Kyoto. Okay, is this the Arashiyama uh, bamboo grove in Kyoto? I'm almost 100% sure it is. There may be more, but the one in Kyoto is the only one I'm familiar with, so just gonna guess this one. Let's see if I can find Arashiyama. Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. Yeah, nailed it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this was easy because I've been there before, and I guess it is a more well-known place. It not, it's not that... Um, um, that uh, obscure but still some may not know it okay kyoto officially kyoto city kyoto shi is the capital city of kyoto prefecture located in the kansai region of japan's largest and most prosperous islands of honshu kyoto forms part of the keihanshin metropolitan area with osaka and kobe okay so it's considered the metropolitan area along with osaka and kobe okay yeah, it makes sense. Like, Kyoto and Osaka are almost fused together, like, based on these structures and buildings. And when I traveled, I went to Tokyo, Kyoto, and then... Well, actually, because I wanted to go to Hiroshima, I went to 
Kyoto, then Hiroshima, then came back to Osaka, and then to Tokyo again. In my travel. Okay, continue. Wow, love this cave. Nice little waterfall here. Fortunately, yeah, it doesn't look like I can move, and if I don't know the place, if I haven't been here before, I can only take a wild guess. Let's see if I... Maybe it's southwest. Okay, not that far. Southwest, uh, it's actually Nakatsu Gorge, Uri and Uriu Falls. Okay, I need to note that down. It looked like a very nice place. And we are Nido Niodogawa, Niodogawa, which a town located in Agawa District, Kochi Prefecture. As the first fog as the town address revelation. Okay, the total okay, this is just generic information. If I click on Urio Falls or this, does it give me more information? No. It does not. But yeah. I need to write this down somewhere, hang on a sec, because I do plan to go to the Japan again in the future and uh, this seems like a place that's worth, that's worth exploring. I love these natural places. Okay, um, notes. And I should note down... Uryu Falls. And Nakatsu Gorge. And it's all near Niyodogawa. I'm guessing Dogawa is river. Yeah, it's the Kanji for river over here, so it is. Okay. Round 5 out of 8. Really? Just putting me right inside the Ryokan? At least it has like beautiful onsen. Like, it's a Ryokan, a traditional Japanese inn near an onsen. If I could read these kanji, this would be <laughs> much easier. I suppose it would give me a clue on the location. Uh, tea ceremony. Ocha. Da da da. Nanja. E. Dozo. The tea ceremony room. I guess. Ocha. I, th I know this is in the Heya. But I don't know how to read this one. Ocha. E. Dozo. O. Agari Kudasai. I guess to go up the stairs, or Agari, or go in. Let's see... Seems to be like... yeah, it's a... Chanri... I don't know... So we can actually go out on the street, so we didn't, weren't stuck at least inside the Ryokan. No, Kyoto has plenty of these Ryokan, but don't wanna... <laughs> like I said earlier, I don't want to name just every um, Japanese, the traditional Japanese looking parts Kyoto, because that's the only one I visited. Iriguchi entrance, but that doesn't help me. Crush Ice Cherry Shake. Okay. Wait, I saw some people with some very interesting clothing. Where are those Miko? Priestesses? 
Oh, where did they go? They went down the wrong street, but I could have sworn I've seen some Miko. Oh, I have 40 seconds left. Hmm. Lovely little town, that's for sure. Chano, okay, Gakko, back to school. Vending machines, of course, in a lot of places in Japan. Oh, running out of time. Um, I don't know, I'm just gonna guess Akashi. Okay. It was, in fact, uh, Kanazawa. Kanazawa, the capital city of Japan's Ishikawa Prefecture. Okay. Uh, okay, as of January 1st, population... Ta -ta -ta. Wish it would tell me more about the place. I guess it does provide a link to Wikipedia, which is nice. Seems to be rainy there right now. Ooh, snowy region. Like when we think of snow, I think of the northern parts of Japan. I won't know the exact place. I'm gonna guess northern Japan, but uh, let's just take a look around, try to recognize some of the kanji if I can. Nope. Kyokuto. I think that's some kind of brand. Hachi something something. Like if it's like the written kind that <laughs> excuse me. Like if it's cursive, that makes it all the more difficult for me to recognize the kanji. Oh, we're in an ad break. Okay. Oh, I believe that's a tanuki uh, that I saw over there. The tanuki guardians, the raccoon guardians. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe just winter season somewhere, but I'm gonna guess it's near Sapporo. Okay, it was actually near Sendai. Ginzan Onsen. Okay, is an Onsen Hot Spring. Put this down in my note as well. I do like Onsen, and it looked like a lovely place. Ginzan Onsen is an Onsen Hot Spring area in Obanazawa. Prefecture, Ginzan Onsen. Okay. Its name means Silver Mine Hot Spring. Okay. Gin. I figured that. And I am Ginko, Silver Fox. Ginzan Onsen is grew due to silver mining and production of eventually transition to tourism. It opened dozens of hot spring resorts in Ryokan along the central river that runs through the town. The mountains that surround this town yield rich hot spring water. That is used both in the private hotels and public baths in the city. The center of town is a pedestrian only district. Nice. Less traffic and more environmentally safe. Okay. After nightfall, the bridges and streets are lit by gaslight. In the winter, Ginza also receives heavy snow. On the far side of the town, any foot waterfall, Shirogane no Taki Falls emerges from mountains not far from the old silver mine, Nobesawa Ginzan. Internationally, this town saw a sharp rise in foreign territory thanks to the famous snow-covered sites in the winter. Okay, so it's not that obscure, I suppose. There are no modern buildings within the town, which is constructed from bare timber farming and white plaster that were built during the Taisho era. 1912, and there are two secluded public paths, Rotenburo, and one which was designed with Kumakengo and the footpath, Warashiyu. Additionally, some of the local ryokan permit non-lodging guests to use their indoor hot spring baths. There is a Dokutsu cave hot spring at one of the establishments of town. Okay. Well, if I want to 
visit northern Japan, I wanted to go to Sendai anyway. And uh, I have an excuse now to go to Ginza Nonsen as well. It's not super close, but not... Like if I made the trip between Tokyo and Hiroshima, I can certainly do... Uh, Sendai and Ginza Nonsen trip at some point. Okay. Traditional looking street. First thought is Gion, but I'm making a fool of myself by thinking it's Kyoto. Just based on the look. If I see that river, I am will be sure, but no, this building I don't recognize from Kyoto, so I don't think it's Gion district. I know there's also a hard rock cafe somewhere disguised as a traditional building in Gion. Go. Mori Hachi. This is Mori. I know that much. Hmm. Oh, Tearai. I recognize that. Oh, yeah. I'm afraid I won't be able to figure out where this is exactly. But, lovely little spot. Very clean as well, by the looks of it. Let's just put down Himeji. Okay, it was actually Kanazawa, Kanazawa Shi. We were there before, weren't we? Sitting in this... But in a different spot, maybe? Okay, final round. And then I'll switch to gaming, because I think I... ...used my brain power enough today. Kyoto Arashiyama.jp This seems... <laughs> Maybe it's throwing me off with that, but I haven't been to this place yet. It seems beautifully lit, though. I know where Kyoto Arashiyama is. Like, it's not the Arashiyama bamboo forest, but... Um... Maybe it's the Marutamachi Tori? Oh, it's Kimono Forest. Okay. Good to know if I ever go back to Kyoto. Okay, fifth place, it seems. Not too shabby, especially for a foreigner who hasn't been in Japan for too long. Seems like, well, he had the most trouble with round 5. Yeah, 5 and 7 were pretty close. Both were in Kanizawa. Interesting. Okay, I enjoyed that. Especially learning about Uryu Falls and the Ginzan Onsen. I may have seen it in one of the YouTube videos before and I just forgot the name because I know the person I'm watching on YouTube is in fact uh, has traveled and I think currently is still traveling through Japan and showed off the northern region before. 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna go for another quick BRB and then I uh, shall continue some gaming.
And I am back once more. Um, yeah, I didn't go very far from Japan, I suppose, because uh, I'm gonna be playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! A game that originated in Japan. And uh, there is a second year anniversary event going on, and uh, also some friendship duels. Um, this is, from what I understand, uh, there was a festival in real life, I don't know if it still goes on, but those who participated there got some kind of special friendship thing, uh, token, and if you do someone online or at the event, you pass on the uh, uh, chain to someone and you can earn a number of rewards. I already got three of them. Still need to get the card case and the special card, Magicians of Bonds and Unity. Must be searched by having 24 of my wild... And uh, yeah, it's in the discard games. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a very competitive card, but uh, nice artwork and it is in the prismatic rarity. So yeah, and it's interesting to see how it counts all the number of duels. I don't, I can't properly tell if I'm contributing to the Eastern Europe or Western Europe. I'm pretty sure I'm. Romania is considered Eastern Europe, but the map is not very clear here with all these different. Um, Northern Europe is not moving very much, curious. Of course, most are in Western Europe, uh, Japan, East Asia, North America, South America, yeah. But uh, I'm just gonna do a couple of games. Uh, I did manage to buy the second anniversary bundle with the alternate art of Blue Eyes White Dragon and actually equipped some of the accessories as well, like the um, icon that you see here and the card case. Uh, before I jump into it though, there's actually a card I want to craft and add to my deck. Let's see, um, Flame Wingman. It's a set that was, I believe, this week. It, it, they released it this week. Uh, the Flame Wingman Infernal Rage. Uh, I think I have enough tokens to craft this. Oh. Oh, come on, really? I am missing just a single point. Okay, I guess I'll do it later then. I think I can get some in the... Yes, next rank I will get three UR points, so... Okay, never mind, I'll do it next turn then. I'm running a Neos deck, certainly not tier 0, but I never went past uh, gold rank anyway. I never made it to diamond. I, I'm more of a casual player, but I do enjoy the game and, uh, you know... Also collecting some cards. This is actually the card case from the anniversary bundle. So let's get into it. Let's see if we can rank up as well. I watched the anime from the original all the way through Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Um, and let me think. Well, I saw clips of uh, Zexo, or Zeal, as it's pronounced in Japanese, but um, kind of lost track. I, I've been keeping up with the news, like I knew what series was coming next. I know now it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens, but I'm not watching it anymore. For me, it did peak at Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, with the Synchro Monsters as well. Okay, not too bad of a hand. Lightning Storm, a good going second card. Ice Jade, okay. What I both like and dislike Modern Yu-Gi-Oh! because it's super fast-paced and um, a lot of complicated effects and a lot of swarming the field, but I also like it because they try to keep old uh, archetypes, uh, old cards relevant by releasing new support to them, like for Dark Magician, Neos, 
Red Eyes, Black Dragon, uh, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and so on. The so-called Boomer decks, which I guess is something I'm running myself right now. Alright. So they special summon the Tuner. I think they're gonna go for a big Synchro play. Fortunately, I don't have any hand traps to hinder them. Let me just remove some of these. There we go. You can see my icon and life points better this way. Okay, what do they sound? Ice Jade. Of course, it has a quick effect. This opponent you can all banish by opponent's effects. Then, if you activate this effect in response to opponent's card effect duration, the opponent has. You can banish those cards. If card is banished by opponent. Okay. Thinking Rainbow Neos would be a good idea here. Because it returns rather than destroys or banishes. But first, let's clear the Black Row, or at least attempt with Lightning Storm. I'm afraid it can still chain um... Oh really? Maxi? They had a Maxi at the last card. They might still be able to remove my um what, what you call it? Um Rainbow Neos. I, I, I'm wondering right now if Rainbow Neos is the right play. I'm gonna summon Neo Space Connector for sure. Because this will allow me to... Special Summon... Another monster. I could copy the effect, but I don't know. It's risky, but I will try it. Okay. So now I have Anaconda. That means another card draw for them. I'm just gonna drop my Neos Fusion. Hmm. I'm thinking that. With this, I can, like, even if they chain um, the effect to remove my Rainbow Neos, I can still at least get rid of their monster as well. So let's try it. Let's try to bounce their monster. Yeah, it's banished. But yeah, at least I got rid of it. And I do have um, Spirit of Neos for protection if they attack next turn. I just noticed their name is Kuroneko, which means um, Black Cat in Japanese. Hmm. 
lots of searches in this deck. Makes it more consistent. They got really lucky that they had that maxi. Otherwise their hand would be almost empty now. But yeah. Didn't have much choice. I really wanted to remove their boss monster. Though now I'm afraid they might be able to easily free summon it. Okay, they're going for that chip damage, but I have Spirit of Neos. Hmm, I suppose a Miracle Contact wouldn't be bad here, so I can recycle some Neos patients and Neos as well. Can I set another back row? No, they won't. Okay. Okay, I also have Miracle Fusion. But what should I go for first? You know what? Let's summon Aqua Dolphin. Let's take a look at their hand and see if we can remove. Potentially problematic card. Yeah, they're thinking if they want to change something right now. That's why I can't act. This is pretty much a dead card in my hand right now. So, never mind. Oh, Ash Blossom. I don't want them to Ash Blossom me, so... Yeah. Gonna do that. Yeah, I can go for a brave Neos. Um, like that. Let's see what can we bring out with Miracle Fusion. So what does this have? Elemental Hero Fusion Monster plus one Warrior Monster. I, the only one would be... yeah, no. I'm actually gonna go for Absolute Zero as an added protection. Realize now I probably should have used the effect of Spirit of Neos first to send it to the graveyard so that I have a Neos and then just remove it from the graveyard, but oh well. If they remove this one at least it's gonna have some repercussions. So let's try and go for Brave Neos because next time would be destroyed. Is not also special summon one water monster. Okay. We do get a replay, so let's try and get rid of that annoying tuner. Now I can search for a card myself. Of course, they also get to special summon a monster. Be a favorite contact. Seems more problematic, and I would inflict more life point damage, so let's try and get rid of this one. Oh, but it's not destroyed actually, because I have when I replayed, I attacked the other monster. Okay, may have been a bit of a misplay, but oh well. Mm 
Pretty sure they're gonna bring out their boss monster again. And I don't know how to deal with it this time. At least I have Spirit of Neos for added protection. Yep, there goes that Synchro Summon. Get some pretty cool effects, okay. Give me Iris back. Might as well just go for a favorite contact now. This should trigger its effect, which means they will be forced to um, chain the effect. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, that's it. Not gonna return anything else. Did I miss the timing for Absolute Zero? I suppose I did. Or, or am I waiting for them to change something first? If this card destroy all... So it shouldn't miss the timing because it's not a win. Yeah, this is some of the headaches that I don't like in the game. Suppose, I don't know if it's part of the effect or the cost to um, return the monsters for the fusion summon. Hmm. Oh. Wow, they brought out a Ra by... Sacrificing my monsters. Oh, and they try to go for that OTK. But... I wonder, like, they can chain it, but the effect says... In their field and or graveyard, but they don't have... I'm. It's not on the field or graveyard yet, so... Okay, called by the grave. That's gonna remove a monster from my graveyard. But that's not gonna negate it, as well as... A, with the same original name. Okay, I guess they thought... Spirit of Neos was in my graveyard, but it's not, right? So... They won't be able to negate it. Okay, if I decide to activate now, they're gonna definitely use the effect and remove. So I'm not gonna activate it, and right now it's just gonna be a shield, because... The effect that makes it indestructible by battle is still applied. Okay. Pretty intense. Unless I can find some way to... Overpower his monsters. I mean, he does have just 100 life points. No, this is not gonna happen. I know I have Neos fusion, but that for that I need a fusion monster. Polymerization unfortunately is not gonna help me. Oh, what? I'm just gonna have some fun. Yeah. Probably they will try to negate it now. Oh, I recognize this music. This is uh, one of the Kitsune, if I'm not mistaken. The Nine-Tailed Foxes, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna ram into Ra. And then let them finish me off. I'm pretty much like Jaden in the final episode of GX, looking excited to fight a god, so... Yeah, I went with Neos into that god. Wish I could do emotes like in Hearthstone or send messages for GG, maybe in the future. But you know, well played, Kuroneko. the very least, I'm going to level up on my reward track. Ooh, nice Winged Dragon of Ra animation. Oh, I got the red thing. Which means on the next duel I will get the... Oh no, this is the reward itself. Backpot Emics thing to commemorate Yu-Gi-Oh's 25th anniversary. Yeah, 25th anniversary this year. Pretty crazy to think about that. Oh, and do I get the final reward now already because I unlocked all the chains? Yes, I do. Nice, I have Magician's Subbound and Unity. It's an Omi monster. Must be special summoned from your hand by having 25 more cards, so it's very late game. I think it's very specific decks that can pull it off, and but it has no inherent protection. It's just a big beat stick that you can special summon, but it's pretty cool. It's Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, basically, together. Although, very different when it comes to appearance. I mean, the outfits is slightly different, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to represent Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. So yeah, happy that I managed to get those rewards at least. Okay, now let's grab that UR token, which is ultimate rare if I'm not mistaken. And let's go back to our deck editing screen. Let's experiment with the new Elemental Hero Fusion Monster. I believe this will also give me a free pull from the uh, pack because I generated a UR or SR card. Oh, never mind. It doesn't do that anymore, but you do get a free pull um, when the pack is first released, which I already did. But yeah, I'm pretty much saving up at this point to get some cards from that set, which I'm interested in, but this was the most relevant to me. Um, I think I can take out Grand Merge. I can only summon it with if I happen to somehow have two Neos. Can't be summoned with Neos Fusion though, so only Miracle Fusion. And it works basically as a way to cheat out the more difficult ones like Nebula Neos and uh, Cosmo Neos. But yeah. This one, okay, so hero monsters with different attributes, that's easy to fulfill in my deck, and uh, it uh, pretty much. Almost the same condition as Sunrise. This has hero monsters, so it can include destiny heroes. And favorite card with favorite in its name. That's basically two of them. Favorite hero and favorite contact. I already have favorite contact. wonder if this is... Level 5 or higher hero monster. If you control field zone, the equipped monster gains attack equal to its original defense. So I could equip it to Neos as well. 
I mean, though, yeah, it's a reference and it's made to work with Flame Wingman. You can only use this effect, favorite once per turn. You can send this card. So, yeah, it can deal a lot of damage. I do want to add this to my deck right now. Let me think what I can take out, though. Or do I just add it and make it a 43 card deck? I mean, this day and age, like 40 is the ideal, but I've noticed that people just make higher number of decks if they want to include all the different hand traps. It can also search for favorite contact too, which is good, but yeah. So it says... Alright. Um... But also, so instant contact is basically cheap out flame wingman, and uh, with that, I can summon more shining neos wingman more easily, which requires a wingman fusion monster, which is flame wingman infernal rage as well. So that's another target, which is good. I'm thinking now I should grab a field spell. But let me see, spells and field. Gonna filter after that. Clearly, the one that works the best with. Um... Okay. Uh, with uh, Elemental Heroes is Skyscraper, attacks the monster with higher attack, it gains stuns attack during damage calculation. Neo Space might be also good though, if I had more Neo Space in monsters and cared about keeping them on the field. Hero City, not destroyed by battle, or if it's destroyed by battle, but these days, you don't destroy by battle, you remove by card effect, so... Skyscraper is certainly the obvious target here, although I'm sure there are combos that... ...are much better. Maybe I just take out one polymerization... ...and go for... ...Skyscraper instead. We'll see. Oh. I think I should test it out by doing some solo duels. I think I have some missions anyway to complete solo mode. Yep. I in fact do. Okay. Ta -ta -ta. Just any really. Okay, and let's change deck, change into the Neo stack. Oh, I went back too far. Okay, Neo stack, let's play then. I'm thinking, like, when do I actually summon it? Most of the time it's gonna be through a simple polymerization or to Miracle Fusion. Which I can actually search for now, the polymerization at least. And Crosskeeper, I believe. From your hand. So I could. Summon Neos and equip him with favorite hero. But this doesn't help me because I can't actually go into a battle phase because it's the very first turn of the game. Could. Huh. You now what? Let's go like this. And 
polymerization into Elemental Hero Sunrise. And yeah, I didn't have to summon Neos to the field, but I did it to put Crosskeeper into the graveyard, which now activates and allows me to draw two cards. I'm gonna return Skyscraper because I can fetch that with Favorite Hero. Now I have Miracle Fusion as well. But I'm gonna save that for later. Because if they have some way to remove all monsters on the field, I don't want them to remove both of my monsters. So I'm gonna play it slowly for now. Okay. Special summon, that's an easy chain of maxi. So now I get to draw a card. Oh, perfect, now I get to draw another card, although the two time maidens are a bit annoying. The Time Lords are annoying. Oh, but the AI is a bit stupid and they decided to instead go for a Link summon just because they could. Okay. Oh, I have plenty of cards now in my hand. They did get my Neos, but no problem. We can make this work. And I already have both of my favorite cards in my hand, so I would not be able to do anything. Like, I won't be able to search anything with it, but I still want to summon it. Let's see if it has an animation. Maybe. It does not. And it has the effect... Special summon level so elemental hero monster. Okay, but for that effect I need to use uh, Neos as one of the materials. Dang it. Okay. Well, let's just go for the favorite hero then. Um, what is this? You can target one level for a lower, lower monster. I don't have that. So I think I should summon it and shuffle it back with Ian Shuffle. And just bring out yeah, Spirit of Neos because that allows me to search again. For Neos Fusion. Which in turn allows me to summon something even more powerful. If I wanted to OTK, I suppose I could do it with the help of Rainbow Neos. It's what I would call the boss monster of this. But if I remove... Let me just use the effect of EN Shuffle and then we'll see what we get. Okay can't special summon anymore. The thing is, I, I mean, I don't OTK, but I still do more damage. I wish I didn't equip this, uh, though. So, you know what? Let's not use the effect this turn. And just go for the Skyscraper. I don't have any really overpowering monsters, but... Let's put Neos back where he belongs. Yeah, I think this is better than if I had cleared the field with Rainbow Neos. And it is actually no TK. Okay. Well, I am liking Favorite Hero. 
that's for sure. I do wonder how a single polymerization will fare out. That needs more testing. Let's do the other one. As well, the Twilight Swarm. Random. Okay, I'm going second this time. Okay, no hand traps. I have a pretty good opener with the help of new space connector. Okay, all monsters are considered zombie, right? In the field and in the graveyard. Okay. And presumably your that was destroyed by the special summon that target. Okay, not gonna give him an opportunity to summon that. However, I will get... Usually I get Air Hummingbird to get the life points. That's my more standard play. Could also get Aqua Dolphin, I suppose. But it's kind of risky right now to do the discard game because it means I may not guarantee to have what I want. But let me think about this. Can I bring out the big boss monster? I guess the ultimate monster. But I consider uh, Rainbow Neos my true boss monster because uh, that I, the, at least the one I, that I can summon more consistently. But this requires. Um, so I could cheat out inst with instant contact. And I can put Neos in my graveyard with... Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Discard Neos to look at their hand. Let's see, do I have anything that's higher attack? I'm afraid not. Even their 1000 is no match, so I take 500. But it was worth it, because now I... Bring out Flame Wingman. And now, with Miracle Fusion, I will summon Elemental Hero Shining Neos Wingman. Basically, the combination of Neos and Shining Flare Wingman. Uh, yes, I will absolutely use the effect. One to two cards. Gonna destroy both then. And now my they are no longer zombies. Okay. I can still go for the Anaconda play too, with the help of... Um, Neo Space Connector and Aqua Dolphin. I know he has no hand traps at least, so let's go all out. Neos Fusion into Rainbow Neos. I'm glad I put. I used to have only one Neos in my deck, but with two it's much easier. Just for good measure, I'm gonna use uh, the effect of Rainbow Neos to send the card from top of my deck and shuffle back those monsters, and now I can OTK them. Excellent. And just one more duel for the test. So far, I know I only summoned um, Infernal Rage Wingman once, but I do like it. I think it opens up more possibilities. Of course, the true test will be against actual players. How about a Herald deck that can have a lot of negates? And random. Okay, 
not the best starting hand. So I just set Forbidden Droplet. I have Nibiru as a hand trap if they go ham with the special summons, but yeah. I can brick with this deck, that's for sure. Okay. Should I stop it right now? No. I wanna see what they are doing first. Yeah, that's just 1000 damage, I can handle that. Okay, they do have a back, grow, back row. Okay, favorite hero, that's not gonna help me much. Rageki, I think it's too early for that. Oh, well, you know what? Might as well make use of the effect now. Let's discard Neos. Can still be useful in the graveyard. You might just go for a synchro right now. <coughs> but I feel like I have more possibilities. Okay. The, the Link Master that's actually forbidden, I believe, in the actual TCG and OCG. Our Quifibrax. These are certainly Ragaki worthy targets. Um, I don't want to take too much damage, and I think I'm past the point where Nibiru could be useful. Come on, give me something good. I don't want to lose them to them dealing battle damage with normal summon monsters. There we go, that's something good. Okay, Neo Space Connector into. Oh, they're gonna negate. So, not gonna go into anything. Unfortunate. I think that's gonna be a loss for me. Yes, that's enough. Okay, let's try that again with hopefully a better hand. I know I think I don't need to win the solo mode duels, but I want to see how it fares if I actually have a good hand and they don't negate my monster effect. That was certainly the deciding factor. Okay, better. Okay, they have Sanctuary of the Sky this time. Just gonna set a monster, okay. Hmm. Aqua Dolphin, discard New Space in Hummingbird. Monster Reborn then can do Anaconda plays. Oops. Well, at least they didn't have the method to summon the monster. Okay. I think I'm just gonna do this. Monster Reborn. Now I can actually get some life points back. Anaconda. This, I believe, is too also forbidden in the actual TZG and OCG. I guess it does, it is a bit too generic. It was probably meant only as predator plant support, but a lot of fusion decks run it. Okay, let's go into. Hmm. If I like Rainbow Neos and Neos Krieger, Kluger or Krieger, I think it's Kluger in the English name. Kluger, Krieger. It's named that. It's supposed to be a reference to the German word Krieger, which is warrior. Uh, but if I drop Brave Neos, 
And uh, with that, I drop another new Spacian. I can next turn go into a powerful um, Cosmo Neos. So I wanna do that. I don't summon it often enough, so I'm gonna go for that. And it can be any of the other Neos Spacians and Neos. Yeah, just gonna take it slowly this time. And with this I will get another card. Let's see... Favorite contact, I suppose? It's doing some chip damage with Anaconda. Now let's set favorite contact. Okay. Seems like they didn't have... Um, what they needed to do the ritual summon. Okay, let's go for that miracle contact. I rarely get to actually summon him, so that's why I wanted to go for this play. It weakens Brave Nails, of course, but now. For the rest of the turn, your opponent cannot activate cards. Also, your opponent cards cannot activate their effects in response to this activation. Yeah, we are basically locking down the opponent right now. And yeah, sure, let's go for a favorite contact too. Um, maybe that was a bit of a misplay and. Favorite contact, what does it it for my hand too? Okay. Plus one warrior monster. This would almost certainly remove my two monsters from here, so let's just go for Escuri Dao. Which will return my the Rainbow Dark Dragon and Brave Neos. Okay, and I can still use Anaconda's effect to summon yet another powerful monster. Okay, Poly and Miracle Fusion would use up monsters on my field. Let's go for Fusion Destiny to bring out another imported card. Dark Phoenix Enforcer. I managed to get the shiny version of that too. Okay. I think this is GG. Just for good measure I'm gonna destroy their field spell. Now that Anaconda already attacked. Alright, well that went certainly a lot more differently. One of the things I like about this deck is the different ways I can fusion summon, although I do love synchro summoning as well. Okay. That's, I believe, another... Uh, 40 gems, thanks to the quest. Let me double check. Yes, it is. Just check the shop real quick. I do want to save up for... Was this the one? Burst of Zapping Energy? No, it is not. Um, not Immortal Royalty. These are some real Rhythmated Time Alternate Art cards, which is nice. Where was it? The one that had some really cool new cards. Okay, these are all these are all the ones I unlocked with the help of uh, the anniversary pack. Uh, 
right into the future yeah there we go some is what i mentioned that they do have support for all the cards so they added support for the noble arms more specifically the infer noble cards the, like subtype this is cosmic quasar dragon which is i suppose like a union of uh, Cosmic Blazer Dragon and Shooting Quasar Dragon. Again, a 12 uh, star card, and I'm pretty sure it has some kind of Omni Negate effect. You can target more points as you a synchro, negate their effects. Okay. But it is an ignition, so an activated effect, which cannot be negated. Okay. It also has a quick effect, banish the synchro summon card, special summon one dragon synchro will like that requires two plus. Okay. So it can attack and then requires two plus non-tuner synchro monsters. So it allows me to cheat out another powerful monsters potentially like shooting quasar or cosmic blazar, so you can go for an OTK. But yeah, it's of course very difficult to um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't say that it um, uh, ignores the summoning conditions so it wouldn't be able to cheat out another cosmic quasar of course that's for balancing reasons. They also finally made Crimson Dragon, the actual big boss that was never made into a card and no one used it as a card back in the anime. Special summoned, add one spell that mentions Crimson Dragon from your deck. Okay, so there's actually Crimson Dragon support. Also an higher... Crimson Dragon is of course like the one that has the different synchro dragons as its servants and all parts of it are uh, it marks the ser the special chosen people the signers with different parts of its body okay return this card to if such a song dragon synchro master play with the same level okay You can only use each effect of okay. What are the actual synchro or uh, Crimson Dragon cards? This oh, this is synchron support, but yeah, this is a riding dual reference for sure. Okay, what else? Divine Temple of Snake Eye, this is Snake Eye support. Camelot, interesting. The Noble Arms, TG Limiter Removal, Dualist Genesis. No, this is not it. Oh, this is Synchro World, this is certainly the Crimson Dragon support. Synchro place to signal counter. Signal counters and remove four, seven, or ten. Oh, this is this is again a writing to a reference. I believe there were some Yu-Gi-Oh games that actually had this um, mechanic, and uh, you could do things with four, seven, or ten signal counters. Yeah. Or they were. Uh, speed spells, yeah, I think they were called that always required uh, speed counters, but here they call it signal counters. This card, this is three by opponent's card effect, okay, well, the opponent must cooperate for that. But yeah, interesting. some more of the noble arm support yeah i want to save up in short i want to save up for this uh set and 
uh, more important, I want to save up for a temple so that I have better chances of rare cards. Face me after this resistance cross on here. Okay. This is like a synchro summon that can be used in when you've done your opponent's turn. And you can manage to stand target once they turn into there, then draw one card. Okay. So this is like yeah synchro summon on your opponent's turn, like an XL synchro for any monster, I suppose. Can be useful. And then next turn, as a bit of a recovery, you can Return that monster to extra deck and draw a card. Okay. Fair enough. Some pretty interesting new cards. Okay. I think I'm just gonna do one more live duel against an actual opponent. See if I can rank up because I think I just need one more victory and then I'll end it here. Got the game of DD &D later on. Oh, space out for a second. Should pick. Oh, I picked it too late. I picked going second, but now it put me as. Going first. Oh well. Should pay more attention. Okay. So, what do we have? Not a good opener, that's for sure. I, I don't see a way for me to summon two monsters so I can go into Anaconda. Don't want to just set a monster. Huh. Do I. Go for the play where I use Dolphin to at least look at their hand, if not potentially discard a card. Wish I could read those kanji. No, something. Okay, they used up Max C. This made them use one. Okay, well, I'm gonna take 500 damage here, but yeah, they would, they don't, it doesn't look like they can play anything right now. They have Alternative Dragon, Spirit of White, Return of Dragon Lord, and Chaos Form, but yeah. Unless they get a Blue Eyes White Dragon, they won't be able to summon anything next turn. So let's just drop a forbidden droplet. <laughs> that that was an alliteration, I suppose. And end it here. You know what? I want to discard Dasher because this means next turn I can potentially special summon a monster to my hand and I want to stop them from doing their combos. Now they have Chaos Form, I know they have the other card and yeah, so... They currently have the card advantage but no cards they can truly use. I mean, I don't want to use this up because I can just normal summon it, right? Yes, I can. So no, I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna normal summon. Oh, I could discard it to... Yeah, even better. I'm gonna discard it to special summon... But is it really worth it? Because if I special summon Hummingbird, I can't use its effect. So, uh, let's just normal summon. I don't want to run out of time debating the merit. Just gonna go into Anaconda. I'm 
gonna use its effect to... Let me see... Suppose I go into Neo's fusion. Into Brave Neo's. So I'm gonna drop one Neo's and... Um, I guess a Grand Mole. I can activate Cross Keeper's effect. Okay, return to the deck. I'm gonna return you, Bell. I'm gonna equip Brave Neos with favorite hero. And gonna go for an attack. First, I will, of course, use it to summon. I mean, to activate Skyscraper. And this gives me a lot of attack. I'm activating Brave Neos' effect to fetch a card and also gonna use favorite hero's attack so I can make a second attack, which will resort in an OTK. Wow! Favorite hero is really good. Who knew? If they stop me somehow, I suppose I could use Miracle Contact next turn, but they didn't stop me. Okay. I think I don't have space, but I want to save this duel if I can, so I can rewatch this, because it was pretty cool. And yeah, this is a good demonstration of modern Yu-Gi-Oh as well, just how quickly it can go. Comeback victory, uh, quick victory, over 5000 damage, and yeah. I got some legacy tickets too. Can I save? Dang it. I can't erase now, so I should really remember to. I'm actually I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna erase some of the older duels so that I have spot for new memories. Okay, let's grab the rewards from the dual pass, the reward track basically. And I don't think I've opened the... Yeah, I haven't opened... Uh, I haven't used up my legacy tickets for the legacy packs. Let's go. Oh, I have 17 even, so I can do a 10 pull like this. Each car, each one only contains two cards, so I'm not gonna do the exciting thing with the... Opening all of them. One by one. Okay, I did get an SR, Magical Hats, and a UR too. Sophia, Goddess of Rebirth. Very difficult to bring out, but yeah, it's pretty much a game ender. If you can bring it out. And yeah, this is also one way to get Blue Eyes White Dragon. Okay. Actually, I want to end it with some pack openings, so... I don't think I can make it to the one case. I'm just gonna do a single pack opening and let's see if the stream of luck activates for me today. Okay. Da -da -da. Oh, right. I was gonna, yeah, before I forget, I should erase some replays. Actually, I'm gonna watch some of... I'm probably gonna erase just the older ones. And I, these are really old. I had some old icons. Okay. I'm gonna play it one more time before I delete it. Let's see. Okay, gonna speed this up. Convert Contact, yeah. It's a good card draw, but can be dead most of the time. Okay, they negated my you know, Space Connector. Okay. 
still managed to do a Miracle Fusion into Brave Neos, but I had no protection, so... Was a risky play. Okay, we're gonna go for a Ritual Summon, it seems. Uh, I'm not familiar with the Drighton, I know they have a lot of win rate at the time of appearance. Okay, cool. They're just gonna keep on special summoning, it seems. Okay, they have Herald of Ultimateness, which is bad news for me. Of course, they're gonna negate my search. However, I still have Grand Mole, which I can use. I used it to bounce it. Okay, nice, and I got rid of it this way. And I searched out for Neos Fusion. Wow, very low usage rate. Very low usage rate neighbor Neos, but now I pretty much turned the duel around. Okay, <laughs> I feel like I want to save this one. Because that play against the Herald of Ultimateness was really good. And they gave up. Okay. Connection failed. I guess they rage quit maybe. Or maybe it was a disconnect. But either way, I I like that turnaround. Okay. Let's look at this too. Speed this up too. Okay, what am I going up against? Storm Cypher, double exposure. I don't remember this at all. Cypher cards. So a lot of XYZ monsters. XEs monsters. Okay, this was my Cyber Dragon deck. Okay. Of course, I go for the Infinity and the Omni Negate. In a pretty bad spot right now. I think if it doesn't have like uh, a good comeback or super interesting play, I will not. I will delete that replay. Galaxy Brave, Internal Cyber Dragon Nova. I'm guessing this will be GG. Okay. I'm happy how I managed to summon Cyber Dragon Infinity, but certainly not a game that's worth uh, keeping around. I'd rather make some room for others, so... Yeah, it was a festival duel. Okay. Oh, it was 2 2 2 2 2, two February 22, 20, 2022. Almost two years ago now. Yep, I'm gonna delete this. Okay, how about this one? I think I'm gonna erase like maybe five. So I'm gonna. Don't wanna go through all of them because I think that would take too much time, but yeah. Oh, I really had these all these photon cards in my Cyber Dragon deck nowadays, so I think I. I mixed them with uh, uh, Red Dragon Archfiend cards. I named it Rivals Forever because, you know, Rivals, um, Jack Atlas and um, Sane combined their effects. Okay, well, uh, yeah, they use their ring. Okay. Seems like I'm in a bad spot, but I might just be able to cover. Okay, they negated. Did I still win this somehow? I have a feeling this is gonna be a very long duel. Yeah, both just trying to top deck at this point. Have my Cyber Dragon hurts. Okay, it was destroyed, but now it's effect. Wow, they had a lot of negates. They just didn't want to let me play at all. Okay. I decided I just had enough and went for a face damage of 100. Okay. 
I think I'm just gonna erase this because of how slow slow this duel went. But I do want to see how this ended. Did I eventually manage to summon my boss monster and overcome the challenge or... Okay, for whatever reason I... Yeah, I guess I didn't want to do the adding to hand. Okay, I managed to add thirds back to my hand. Okay, they still didn't have some anything. I guess it was exciting for me at that point because I didn't know if I would win or lose. I had very low life points. Okay. Oh, finally I can search for a good card. Okay, I don't know if they thought that would negate. It didn't. Okay, special summon Galaxy Brave. I summon Orbital and deal some more chip damage. Wow, I don't remember having this card at all. Wow. Antiluminescent Knight. Okay, they had a smashing ground. A lot of back and forth, I suppose, but... Yeah. Now I normal summon Cyber Dragon because I had no better play. Okay, good thing I got rid of Blazing Mirror Force. That would have been a problem. Okay, do I just finish them off? Like, it's a pretty anticlimactic ending, so yeah. Not want I not a duel that I wish to remember forever. So sorry, buddy. I'm gonna erase this. Okay, what about this one? It's going down memory lane right now. Mm -hmm. This is my red eyes deck. I still use, of course, it had some changes over time. I know it, I saved at least one duel just to, which was the loss, but. It had a big misplay on my part and I wanted to remember that so I can learn from my mistake. Okay, hidden armory, very interesting deck. Dirge of the Last Dragon. Okay, Twin Twister. Huh. I mean, that was... Wait, I need to see this again because I that went by so fast I don't even realize how I won. Okay. It's not even a public... I didn't even make it public so others can see it, but... Let me see that again before I delete it because I want to see what's going on. Wasn't very exciting because they didn't summon big monsters, wasn't a lot of back and forth, it just basically... They played their cards. Oh, they took 4000 damage. Because they used that card, okay. Guess they wanna go for Exodia. I'm gonna check out their deck, yeah, because they have a lot of card draw, I suspect Exodia at this point. Okay, hidden armory. Okay, they paid some life points and... Yeah, chicken gaming would have locked me down, but since I destroyed it, I was free to go for the damage, so yeah. I am curious what... I guess it was funny at this point, but uh, not interesting enough to keep. Let me confirm opponent's deck. What the heck is this? Oh, okay, it was a Numeron deck. Basically trying to OTK me with it. Some of these cards are even banned right now. 
Whoa, wait, wait a second. No, there's a field spell that summons Numeron Gate. How the pseudo space? Okay, I know this activates a field spell. Perform a pop up up, okay. I <laughs> really don't get this deck. And where is the field spell that allows the summon of? I don't see it. Okay. Never mind, I'm not gonna copy this, I'm just gonna delete this. Okay, this is actually a public one, so I don't wanna delete it in case they wanna see it, but yeah, this is another old one. One is from the festival. Oh, this was over in two turns, okay. Let's check this out. I prefer to keep some of the longer ones unless it, unless these two turns were very interesting, okay. Went for the standard play of Hummingbird, get some life points, go into a DPE. Okay. I use Neo's Fusion to not be destroyed, I mean, would have been the same, but I just went for destroy Phoenix Things Forcer, okay. Oh, they special summon my DPE. They remove chicken game so that I don't. Oh, and they rage quit after I summoned Spirit of Neos, okay. I'm gonna check out their deck because it seemed pretty interesting, but um, again, very strange chicken game. Only spell cards. Wow. Okay. I guess it's like going through your deck, and I guess there's maybe some OTK with chicken game. Yeah. Get that out of here. More original than most meta decks, but yeah. I'm not interested in keeping this one. Okay. The space is actually very limited. I think you can keep. At the looks of it. How many did I delete so far? Three? I don't know. Uh, now I do have some space. These are all, this is also from only two turns. Let me see if it's worth keeping. Okay, what do we have here? Okay. So, I was using my favorite Neos deck, it already had some of the newer cards like Instant Contact, which came out last year. Okay. Wow, they have a full back row. I'm guessing they're gonna rage quit after I use Lightning Storm. Oh, never mind, they had Solemn Judgment, okay. Let me speed this up. Okay. A special summon the labyrinth, okay. Uh, starting to pop off, okay. They negated, I try to go with an instant contact and then comboed into... Okay, unfortunately, yeah, I guess they thought they could destroy my... Yeah, this is funny. A lot of 
a lot of action in these just two turns, so I'm gonna keep this. In fact, I wanna make this public. So that others can enjoy it as well. Uh, ten turns is long. Festival... Let me see if this was any good. Festival duels usually means it's some kind of restriction or only certain decks are accepted. So I wonder if this was any good. Okay, it's my Red Eyes deck. Well, 0 0.001 usage rate. I guess if, uh, you know, Red Eyes Dragoon were legal, a lot of more people would play it. Okay, they went into Rampage Dragon to destroy it, but I chained to equip it. They probably tried to negate with the Call of to the Grave, but they realized they could only remove monsters and not trap cards or spell cards. Okay, at this point I go into DP and... Okay, don't know why I did that. I suppose I thought I could quickly summon a monster and finish them off, but okay, they end up... Okay, I pop their back row. That gets them Cyber Dark Realm. Okay, Buster Blader with the Dasher. Pop their back row again, draw two cards. And now I finish them off. Okay. It was interesting, but nothing too extraordinary, I think, that would warrant it keeping around. I'd rather make more new memories. Okay, interesting. For these, it doesn't say like what rank I was at that point. Okay. Let's make this public, make this public. And I think I have room for at least four or five more duels. Wish it would say. Oh, there's a proficiency test. Which gets me some uh, cool stuff. Practical exam, what is the clear condition? Pendulum summon, okay, I need to pendulum summon some monsters. Yeah, I still need to do this, but I'm not gonna do it today. I'm just gonna test my luck right now and do a single pack opening and let's see what we get. Hmm. So the normal packs are currently these, right into the future. I'm gonna do this when I get the ability to pull 10 of them. These have some alternate arts. So some pretty good cards. Many cards from the history in addition to very many that can become ace, you become an alternate art edition of Ash Blossom, yeah. Let's see. Should I buy three packs? I, I still want to save up and I'm not paying any real money on this game, so... Every little bit of gem counts, so let, let me just do a single card pack and let's see. Okay. Looks like there are no secret rares in this one. Oh, but I at least got some shiny ones. And I got Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. Odd Eyes uh, plus one Pendulum Monster, okay. Oh, you know what? Let's spend all my gems, why not? Can always get more later. They do say third time's a charm. Oh! This is usually a sign that the card pack has secretly a better card. Although no super rares, but it did have a shiny rare card, so I guess that's why 
it changed to the golden color. Okay, at least I did get some new cards and one more. Oh, this has the golden glow to it, so it has at least a super rare or maybe even better. Yep, there it is. Double evolution pill. One more so special summon from your hand or deck, ignoring it. Yep, it's a good dino support card. And it unlocked the dino selection pack. Okay. I don't mind if I don't get the alternate art Ash Blossom, although it does seem very valuable to collectors. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna end it here today. I need to eat and then rest a bit and get ready for my big D&D game. So thank you all who tuned in today and hope you have a lovely rest of your day, weekend or rest of your week whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>